Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, All About Kendra. I'm Kendra, and as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm here to go with some starter lots, do's and don'ts. If you hear some background noise, I'm trying to film with both of my babies up right now. So just bear with me, and I'm going to try to make this video as speedy as possible. Tip number one, don't wash your starter locks. Um, I don't suggest that you, you know, get in the shower or however you wash your hair, like, get it all soaked and drenched with water um if you want to wash your starter locks i suggest that you use something like witch hazel um on a not on a cotton cloth but on like a um a wipe or you can even use baby wipes witch hazel or baby wipes to get into your scalp and cleanse your starter locks tip number two uh, protective styles protective styles are your friend we all know that um, but there are pros and cons to protect the styling um, too much tension is not a good thing when it comes to protective styles um, so I know that you can get like braids and even sew-ins with your starter locks but you want to be aware of how much tension you're putting on your hair I suggest that you don't get extensions um, until like three to six months within that three to six month window um, that way you can tell how much tension you can put on your hair um, how healthy your hair is and those type of things um, I suggest um, for those of us who like to change up our looks um, wear wigs but even with the wigs you want to be careful you want to make sure that you wear a wig cap under the wig and um, turban I have a turban on but I have a wig cap under it just to protect my hair from um, losing any type of moisture or any snagging if you were wearing a wig you would want to protect your hair from like any snagging or that type of thing so I suggest that those are the forms of protective styles that you can wear um, three moisturize your hair you know you all know I have a spray bottle um, with some essential oils it has coconut oil tea tree oil um, extra virgin olive oil. The only oil that I'm making, missing is the Jamaican black castor oil. And it has the FOG leave-in conditioner, which is like a water-based conditioner. It's not a creamy-based conditioner. And it has water. And I use that to moisturize my locks. And I moisturize my locks with every two to three days. I just spray it on my locks and I'm good to go. Um, but also you want to moisturize within. So you want to make sure you're consuming enough water. Um, so moisturize your hair. And also drink a lot of water tip number four you want to make sure that you're sleeping with a bonnet or a sip scarf um, this will minimize frizz loss of moisture um, and as well as like little cotton pieces getting into your hair so you want to make sure that you sleep with some type of bonnet on I was making that mistake but I'm glad that I corrected that mistake because like I said adds to your frizz it's um, depletes moisture so you want to make sure you're sleeping with a bonnet or a silk scarf tip number five do not retwist your hair too soon or too late um, if you retwist too soon it's like you really don't know how long you can go without a retwist and if you retwist too late you kind of run into um, the semi free forming of locks and I really don't know too much about it I'm still trying to research that and also like um, if you retwist too late um, you have your hair, and I think this is part of the semi free format. I'm not sure. Um, I have a lot of um, straight hairs outside of my locks that are starting to grow together. And some of my locks, I'm having to like take them apart. And if you wait too late on your first set of starter locks, you run into um, a lot of unraveling. Now, expect unraveling. Don't be alarmed if you get some unraveling. But I mean, like, I have one lock that has completely unraveled and towards the end of this video i'm going to show you the state of my hair tip number six frizz how to combat frizz by moisturizing your locks um at night or you know throughout you know in the morning you wake up spray your locks but before you put on your bonnet not every night but you want to make sure you're sleeping with a bonnet every night or a silk scarf some type of something to protect your hair but um when I moisturize my locks and I put on my bonnet, I notice I have a minimum amount of frizz. Um, so you want to make sure that you're doing that. Moisturize and um, covering your locks up. 
come back spreads. Tip number seven, manipulation. Now, I noticed um, this was an error that I had because of the job that I have. I'm still in the transitioning phase out of the military. It's taking forever. I'm so ready, but because I still had to wear like a wig, um, I was wearing a wig and you know, you have to wear your wig in a bonnet. I mean, your hair in a bonnet in the military. So, um, when I would pull it back in the bonnet, some of my locks would get intertwined with the ponytail. And that tension, it was because I wear like a tight bun. That tension was um, too much on my locks in the back. And so, one of my locks actually came apart or came off. It didn't... Um, rip off from the root but the end of the where it's budding it kind of is separated and I no longer have that so be aware of that and um, also I've noticed because of um, the tension a few of my starter locks um, started to thin and I'm going to show you that towards the end of the video so when it comes to manipulation and tension be careful be really really careful um, also we all do it. We like to pull our locks and see, you know, that length. I say minimize that because that tension interrupts something with this planet up here. This is a whole galaxy, a whole planet. And when you're pulling, you never know, like, too much, like, that's tension. And too much of that interrupts and causes things to go wrong. So you want to minimize that. As well as hair decor and hair accessories, um... I've only put a bobby pin in my hair maybe three or four times, but you want to, um, I think you should wait before you start putting like the hair beads and stuff in your hair because you don't know if that lock is formed, if it's still, you know, loose and you don't want that to get caught up in your lock. So I say, um, wait on that. Um, it just depends on the state of your hair. So get to know your locks and the state of your locks before you start manipulating and adding stuff in them. Tip number eight, coloring. Um, my locks, you guys have seen, they have like a little color at the end. That's because before, um, I was lock natural, I was loose natural, and I had colored my hair at the beginning. Um, when I cut my hair about this short, I had colored it. Um, so the color grew all the way out to the end, and when I started my lock journey, that's what I was left with. I didn't cut it off, I just started my journey that way. Um, I suggest that you wait until you're at your healthiest state of your um, lock journey until you know for sure that your hair is locked. I recommend a year. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to color my step, my hair within a year, but it's something I definitely might think about when I get to that point. So be careful with coloring. If you have colored your hair in the past, um, weigh the pros and cons of that experience. What were the pros when it came to your coloring your hair? What were the cons when it came to coloring your hair? And kind of um, piggyback off of that with your locks. Um, I do know you should stay away from bleach, but to each its own when it comes to your hair. Just make sure your hair is in its healthiest state. You do your research and that you don't do it too early. Um, tip number nine, <laughs> sealing of your locks. The ends of your locks are starting to form by now. Everybody's different. Maybe your ends have started to form a lot sooner, but two to three months. Um, the ends of your locks are starting to seal and you get these stray hairs that I'm going to show you and I don't suggest that you pull them. That was a mistake that I was making. And like I said, this is a whole like galaxy up here. And when I was pulling it, I was interrupting, you know, the ends from forming and then it would go back to this really, really coolly end. So you do not want to pull, um, at your ends. Like, you know, if you get like this divided little straight piece of hair it has a purpose you just have to roll with it we all know that these locks do what they want to do at their own time um and tip number 10 patience i talk about patience in all my videos y'all know you have to be patient on your lock journey everybody's journey journey is not the same everybody locks don't bud and grow at the same time so be patient now um i'm going to show you the state that my hair is in now and this is the one lock that has completely unraveled completely unraveled and this is my hair length without 
being in a lock and this is my hair length with a lock but it's completely unraveled and i think it's because i waited too long i'm now past the window that my lock i was just recommended um before my retweets so that's where i gave you tip number five don't retweet too soon or retweet too late and then as you can see hopefully you can see my hair like this one is really to me i think this one is thinning out and it kind of makes me sad but i think that's because of the tension that i was putting on my hair um from the wig and pulling it in a bonnet here's another one so those are early mistakes that i caught and i'm glad that i caught them and i've been paying attention to my hair now i do get all these like straight loose hairs outside of my locks and i'm not going to pretend like that doesn't annoy me it annoys the crap out of me um so if you know how to combat that and maybe that's because i'm outside of my window for my retweets but if you know how to combat that um please leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know so that i can um add that to my journey something that i'm aware of something i know how to combat um but yeah this is the state of my hair and i haven't got i have a bobby pin here for when i had it pinned to the side but i haven't got any um build up or anything and I know that witch hazel and baby wipes work because that's what I do when I have my when I used to wear my braids and protective style. But I haven't washed or cleansed my scalp at all, um, and I don't have any any buildup. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it wasn't too loud in the background. Like I said, both of my girls are up playing, watching TV. So I just really, really wanted to come quickly and make this video. I get my retwist this coming Friday. So I wanted to make sure I came to you guys so you could see my hair at this state, um, the things I've learned. And so next week I'll be coming to you with the retwist, the experience, and what it looks like. So stay tuned to that video. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.